Hello everyone, you might have noticed that I really enjoy uh, doing a lot of miniatures so I either paint them or draw them and I do sell them all on eBay or Etsy so if you're interested you can find me on both platforms under my regular username Sandrine's Gallery. You can find me anywhere on social media as Sandrine's Gallery actually. So to get back to today's painting, I used a miniature ampersand aqua board and if you're not quite sure where those are I'll put a link of a video that I made that explains a bit how to uh, use them. Uh, so I started by wetting down the surface uh, very thoroughly because it's a clay surface and it might have air bubbles trapped in it. So when you flush them out, then you can paint and your painting will be more even. So again, um, with uh, clean water, I just wet the, uh, the surface thoroughly and I let it dry and I'll see all the the trapped air bubbles come to the surface. And then I basically added layers upon layers of watercolor uh, from the lightest ones to the darkest ones. I didn't really have a precise plan for it. I just added the colors as I needed them. Um, I always kept my eyes on the reference picture, adjusted the colors as needed um, because of, often the watercolors dry lighter. So if I needed to darken some areas, then I did that. Once my colors and values were established, I used a harder brush. And um, the good thing about the ampersand aqua boards is that they're very forgiving and it's very easy to um, erase, if you will, um, to remove some pigments from the board. So with a harder brush, you can just wet it and um, add details. Uh, remove the pigments and whiten some areas and add highlights. So that's what I did. Since I shot this video uh, quite a while ago, I don't really remember all the colors that I used. But it's basically a mix of pink and yellow to make my pinks a little bit more orange because flamingos aren't always like just pink. They always have a, a slight orange to their feathers. So um, I tried to mix uh, those two colors and checked on a piece of scrap paper if the color was right and I compared it with the reference photo again. So I don't have much more information to give you today but if you have any questions about either my process or the brushes I use or what the heck is an ampersand aqua board, anything you want just uh, ask them in the comments below and I'll be very happy to answer them. Thank you all for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.